Welcome back YouTube to Rick's YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your Xbox if it's stuck on the update screen or the loading screen. So if you have an update and for some reason it gets stuck on the loading screen or you're just getting the error message saying fail to update, all you need to do is power cycle your Xbox down. Now the reason why it does happen, it happens over Wi-Fi a lot. For some reason, if your signal drops out on Wi-Fi, you may lose a couple of kilobytes of data. That's when you're gonna get an error when it's fully downloaded because it'd be missing a certain partition that's not gonna allow the update to work. So when you load Fortnite, you'll get that the loading screen, it will load up halfway and then it completely stop. So all you've got to do is power cycle your Xbox down. I'm going to show you how to quickly do it now. Let's go over to your Xbox. There's the power button. Keep your finger on the power button. Press it in. Until it turns off all together. And go around the back of it. Get your power lead, the power cord. Pull it out. I've got it here. You don't have to take the LAN cable out. You don't have to take the HDMI cable out. Just literally leave the cable out for literally two minutes. As soon as two minutes is passed, put the cable back in. Press the power on the Xbox. Wait for it to start up. It'll go to the green screen for about a minute and a half. And then relaunch Fortnite again. And hopefully that should have cleared up the error Update, not loading, and would have fixed. So after power cycling your console down, you should be able to load straight into Fortnite. If you're still getting problems, you're going to have to cancel that update, completely delete the update, and re-update it again. Remember, use a LAN cable instead of Wi-Fi, because if you do lose the signal, it's going to get that error again. Let me know in the comment section below if you're still having problems with Fortnite after a new update, you are getting that loading screen error. But hopefully power socking the console down should fix your console. Remember, if you're new around here, please subscribe and I shall get back to you with another video. Thanks for watching.